Hi, I'm Jeff Mullen and I'm with Amtrol's technical department and we're here today at the Amtrol Center for Education. One of the questions that comes up from consumers is, my pump is overheating. Well, if it's a brand new installation, it may be that it's miswired. And by that I mean this pump comes wired from the factory at 115 volts. If you've brought 230 volts to it, this pump will overheat, will go off on a thermal overload. To correct that problem, on our website we have a pressurizer wiring and that describes in detail how to change this pump from 115 volts to 230. One of the other things that we do see is, geez, you know, my pump is overheating. Well, in the summertime, when everybody's using their air conditioners and their pumps and watering the grass so on and so forth, we do run into situations called brownout sometimes. And when you run into a brownout, that means you got low voltage. And if you have low voltage, what happens is this pump is going to see the low voltage, it's going to overheat, and it's going to do the same thing. It's going to go off on thermal overload, and then it will restart once it cools down. So if you do have that situation, the best thing to do is get a hold of your power company and get the power restored to the proper voltage. Now, one of the other things we see, and it's rare, but we do see it from time to time, is when this pump is wired up and we're bringing our wiring to the pump and the switch, your connections or your plastic connections for the wiring, if they are not tight, what happens is we start to get a little arcing in there and you run into a voltage situation that way too. And you start getting a low volts to the motor. Again, if we get low volts to the motor, what happens, we run into thermal overload, the pump will cut off on thermal overload. So one of the first things you might want to do is check the wiring before you do anything else and make sure the wire nuts are tight. And again, if I may remind you, please shut the power off before you do that. And that concludes today's question and answer section. Please join us in the future for additional troubleshooting videos.